Okay, so here we are in Photoshop, and this is the toolbox here on the left. And we are going to open a new document. So we're going to choose File, New. Make sure this pixel says inches. Let's choose an 8 inch square to do our first design. Click OK. So here is your workspace. Over here on this side is something called the Layers Palette. This is really critical uh, that you have this open. The Layers Palette, um, if you think of it like a stack of papers, the background layer is the bottom piece of paper. If for some reason this Layers Palette gets becomes missing, then you will go under Window, click Layers, and it will appear again. So the first thing I'd like to tell you to do is to unlock the background layer by double clicking and then just click OK. Notice the lock disappears. So here is our Layers palette. We are going to make a simple design using some different shapes. So let's practice making shapes. Here is the shape tool. Notice when I click on this shape tool, lots of different options appear at the top. So right now, um, if I mouse over this tool, this is called the custom shape tool. So this allows me to draw a lot of different kinds of shapes. Notice over here on this palette. However, I really want to use a freeform shape. I want to draw, in other words, I want to draw my own shape. So I am going to click on this tool here. Notice when I drew this arrow shape, it put its on itself on its own layer which means I can move that separately. I'm going to click here. This creates a new layer. And now with my shape tool, with my freeform shape tool, I am going to draw just a random shape. Notice that this automatically fills in black because I have black selected over here for my color. Now what I want you to notice over here on the layers palette is I have two shapes. They're both on their own layer. If I go back to the arrow tool up here in the corner, this allows me to move these shapes individually. I must have this highlighted layer, this layer highlighted before I can move the shape. Notice if I mouse over this shape, it's the arrow that moves. That's because the arrow layers palette is highlighted. A quick key for selecting a layer just by mousing over is command click. That automatically chooses that layer. This is a really helpful tool. The more layers, layers you get, uh, the easier it is to find the layer by just mousing over that layer and clicking command click. 